Hey yo everybody, Project Charles here and in this video we're going to continue our journey through Frambo. Let's see what's going to happen in this scary world. We just escaped from the land of Athirsta, which was basically a haven, which is super weird, but like we're essentially heading back into hell from heaven. Anyway, let's see what's going on. I believe these are our duotine pills. Oh, someone's trolling us. It's attached to a string. Kitty, did you see that? The pills move by themselves. Yes, I think that's very strange. Okay. But well, let's go follow the pills. This way to home. Really? Is home? Is that where my home is? Pills, don't move again. Ugh, won't you show me? Wait, it's telling us the way home? That's weird. <gasps> no! Pedophile! Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad friend, bad, bad. Oh my gosh, how do I get out of here? Oh, duh, we've got our purse now, so we can just get the knife and cut things up. Yay! Check out the cat! Oh my gosh. Mr. Midnight had quite a ride there. Alright. Whoa! Oh, our dude is back! Fran, you're already here? Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. That's a very precise time to be expecting me. And as I see it, you aren't trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward. Uh, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. We've only been seeing him throughout the entire story, Fran. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. He's only been helping us. Yeah, exactly, Fran. Duh. Duh. Really, huh? I think I managed quite well to find Kitty on my own. Um, no, you would still be stuck in Dr. Dean's office if it wasn't for him. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see? But that was because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the top hat. I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me, but I'm not imaginary. You see, I am part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes, but I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not even made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. All right. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Wow. Oh, he is tall. He is a long dude. He is very tall. Let's just follow the skeleton friend of ours back home, shall we? Oh, that posture, though. You need to see a chiropractor. Behold, the Itwid flying machine. What do you think? That sounds familiar. It's alright, but can it really fly? Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not even 2.35 yet. That sounds great, but... What is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. It's when the time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the Ultra Reality. Inside the Ultra Reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes. I do understand. It sounds intense. But, sir... Should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not! You can help by getting water and fire berries, right? Alright, it's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great! Here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Oh, that is an interesting bucket. It's like a kettle. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. Alright, sir, but... Can I just ask... Why do you need the berries and the water? Ah, well the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. 
And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, the Kamalas. I see. I hope they don't come around flying machine. We never know. But we do know that they don't like water, yes? That's true, they turn into the Velocus when they touch the water. Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. So he gives us the duotine? It's actually helping us? Invisible to my eyes? Hmm. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh yes, about that! I'm sorry! I needed to get your attention somehow. Uh, it's okay, sir. I defeated the trap, like in one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fire berries and the water. I'll be right back. Great! I'll be preparing the machine. Okay. Time to help our skeleton friend build the... The, the what was it called? The Itwood Flying Machine? Gosh, that machine was really, really intricate. I guess we should take our pills now. Whoa! Okay, what is this? Wow, so much hair and so shiny. Is it? It couldn't be one of those spirits that we saved in Chapter 2, was it? Oh, gosh. <gasps> Wait, is this telling us the truth? This is the path to hell. Well, I don't want to go there, neither do I, but there are the fire berries. Oh, the berries are on fire. It has to be the fire berries, but you don't want to get them? Hmm, I wonder if those berries are good to eat. Wait. You can't reach them? What's the problem? Do I need to use the bucket? What's this? Get out! Get out! You're trespassing on my territory! Huh? Excuse me? I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a deedle worm. Deedle worm? Deadly worm. Oh. Excuse me? A deadly worm? No, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it, and I don't need any more. And don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh! He's technically a Grim Reaper worm. Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb onto it, to reach the fireberries. I see, I think this is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire, you can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I need to take them somehow. Good luck with that, climb on now, I'll keep working. Thank you sir. Okay, get on there Fran. Oh, Fran is really strong actually. Can't you touch the fireberries? I can't take the fireberries, they're on fire. Oh, great, okay. Can we talk to this head? Wow, so much hair and so shiny, okay. That didn't really help much. Hmm, delicious berries, why can't we just pick those because they're not on fire, of course. Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them get free from curiosity. Ah, that's nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Stay